Hey guys, what is going on? It is Dunbar Snack Bar here with MLB 2K12 and View Request. Gosh, it's been a long time since I played a View Request game. But this actually came out of the live stream that I did a couple weeks ago. Uh, and I think I'm going to go ahead and keep that tradition going. For those of you who want to see View Request games, you got to check out the live stream here that I usually do every Monday. Um, usually it's around 7 or 8 o'clock Central Time. But it's a lot of fun. I mean, I get a chance to be able to talk with you guys, get to know you a little bit more, and be able to play a game at the same time. So we'll see how this one ends up as we're going against the two teams, or we've got the two teams in Pennsylvania, excuse me, going against each other, the Philadelphia Phillies and the Pittsburgh Pirates. Not a great way to start off the game as Howard's not able to touch first base and get the out. And then with me trying to balance everything that's going on, I don't even notice anybody's trying to steal until it's too late. Not cool. You got to remember, I'm not only playing the game, but I'm doing live commentary. And at the same time, I'm also trying to be involved with the chat and respond to people's questions and things like that. And that was an example of me not multitasking. All right, so Cole Hamels, as you can see, is on the mound for me in this one as I am playing as the Phillies. I got a lot of good pitches that I can go with. A circle change, it's at 93. That's going to be a good pitch for me to go with when there are two outs. But now that I've got a runner in scoring position, I do have to be pretty careful. Um, Cole Hamels better be able to pull through. Um, but like I said, live stream, don't forget Mondays. Those are a lot of fun. I hope to see you guys there. Um, and I'm, I'm thinking about doing a balance here between Madden, NCAA, and MLB. I usually stream for a couple hours, so it's not like, not like I can play a full game from every single one. But that's where I'm gonna be taking Drew requests now is on the live stream so follow me on twitter and facebook you guys know when that'll be coming up here like i said usually every monday but this next one maybe not because of labor day uh and i will be working but anyway second inning now two outs able to get a hit offensively speaking both teams have been struggling so far i know it's only the second inning but this is the first hit out of anybody and that's usually not what we see here in MLB 2K12. I'm going to go ahead and head over for second. Doesn't work well. That was not a smart call. That's going to go ahead and end the inning as well. I know I probably shouldn't be stealing with two outs, but you know what? I figure why not here. All right. So um, to kind of let you guys know here too, now that we've got Madden coming out, I'm going to try to uh, do what I can to be able to balance all three games. That's going to be really tough when you think about it. Uh, MLB 2K12, NCAA, and Madden so I'm pretty excited about that and I was thinking though September that's gonna be really really tough September and October is gonna be bad when FIFA comes out and NBA comes out and NHL comes out and we've still got baseball going and stuff like that so we'll try and see what happens with this uh, I've really got to put a schedule together or something like that uh, just kind of fit things because right now I'm basically going um, every other day between like the my player modes and like the franchise equivalent. So with those coming out, we'll see how it works because obviously I'm not going to be able to do all that, but that's okay. Now getting another hit. So Phillies have been doing all right here offensively. And by all right, I mean better than Pittsburgh. But Pittsburgh has been able to strike me out a lot more than I usually strike out in a game, which does get pretty frustrating after a while, especially when I'm on here trying to play the game with everybody else but at the same time I guess this is kind of cool too because when I go through and I edit these games you guys aren't able to see everything that I do the times that I mess up and stuff like that so it's kind of cool to you guys to be able to see this here but great opportunity for us now here to be able to get a run come on Ryan Howard yes he gets the hit that's gonna bring one runner home really the only runner except for Ryan Howard so we do have the lead finally in the fourth inning. Somebody has got a run on the board and thankfully it is me. So that mistake here by the Pirates really cost him. When I was heading over to second, you saw that they overthrew it. I got over to third and that's what did it. All right, fifth inning now. One of the things that I love is still in the fifth inning. Pirates have not been able to get a hit. So Cole Hamels has had a tremendous game here. Um, I don't know. i definitely call him player of the game right now here for what he's been able to do. And if he keeps going like this, man, we've got this one in the bag. 
Now you can see all of my pitches here have really increased. I don't have anything that has necessarily dropped. Um, I've barely been using that 12-6 curve though, which is sitting at 57, and I think that's one of the things that have been helping me. Sorry for that delay. I was responding. But, all right. Now that we've got some good momentum going here, we've been able to get a run, been able to get some good pitching going. Hopefully we can carry this into the rest of the game as well. Uh, I don't want to necessarily come away with a one to nothing win. That's not the most exciting, but at the same time, a win is a win. And throw, Dunbar. There we go. All right. So 0-2 count. Watches that two-seamer. Whew. That was a nice one here. Six inning, two outs now. So we've advanced just a little bit. We're going at a pretty steady pace. And this is also me being distracted by what is going on. That's going to roll to the wall in center field. And that's going to end up being a triple. Maybe more. No, nope, it's a triple. All right. So that's the first hit, actually, for the Pirates in this game. It ends up being a triple that, honestly, it shouldn't have been a triple. It should have been an out. <sighs> that's all right. I was thinking about skipping this here and just not showing it. But at the same time, I don't think that that would be right. Fortunately, though, we do get out of that. Just uh, pop up. We end uh, the inning here pretty quickly. So no harm done. Howard somehow missing it. How do you miss it throwing underhand like that? You must really be trying to miss if you can't hit an underhand throw like that. But anyway, seventh inning. Utley up at the plate, getting another hit for us, putting another brother on. Now, of the games that I've been playing recently here, this is by far the game that I've had with the least amount of hits. So this has actually been a lot closer than what it, uh, what it may appear like. And it's kind of tough, too, because you can't go back and watch the full game, because for whatever reason, YouTube's still processing the video from uh, a week or so ago. Not cool. Ah. Uh, Forget any momentum being built right here. That's going to be a double play. And that's also going to go ahead and end the inning. All right. So here we are in the eighth. Cole Hamill still in, still going strong. Giving up a hit, though. This time, that's a decent one that rolls into center field. So before that triple that I had, I had a perfect game going. So I feel kind of better that I messed up because now in the eighth inning, the Pirates were able to get a hit. And that, of course, would have eliminated a perfect game and a no-hitter. I still can go for the complete game shutout. We'll see if I can do that here. All right. So with this game here, this is pretty exciting. I'm liking the rivalry. That's always one of the best games, I think, to play is games where our rivalries. Uh, so for those of you who do hit the live stream, kind of keep in mind some rivalries that are out there uh, that we can go ahead and play. Because sometimes I get, hey, play is my favorite team uh, or my favorite teams the um, shoot we'll just say the Mets and the Mariners the Mets and Mariners fans have nothing against each other I mean you know it's just one of those uh, interleague games that I think would be kind of cool to watch but at the same time um, you know I want to see the the big rivalries the Dodgers Giants this one here Phillies Pirates it's a great one uh, so kind of keep that in mind you guys with your request games it's always helpful and uh, NCAA ones are going to be done as well and potentially uh, Madden 2. We got to see how that all works out. But in the ninth inning, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to warn Papelbon up just in case. And now that I think about it, I probably should have uh, had somebody else warming up. Kind of more of a long-term thing. Just in case the Pirates are able to score a run right here. And this is a pretty tough part of their lineup. In fact, we're going to be seeing McCutcheon in here. Who definitely, I think, uh, should be in contention. For NL MVP. I mean, the season that that guy has had, man, that is awesome. McCutcheon's one of my favorite center fielders. Uh, I love that guy. But anyway, we're going to go ahead. We're going to watch the full ninth inning because there really hasn't been too much to show. Utley feeling the ball, getting it over to Howard. We're looking at out number one. But yeah, because of the lack of offense here and the lack of hits for both teams, this video has gone a lot quicker than I thought it was going to. And that's all right, though. See, here's McCutcheon. Um, sometimes something like this is, is good to have some of these shorter videos. Don't get me wrong. Uh, I know one video that I have had to do was a lot longer than I wanted to. And it's kind of tough being to find that editing balance here. Oh, my gosh. 
Oh, that was not cool at all. Now you got McCutcheon on first. Super tough to get a double play um, over at second, unless it's hit directly there when you got McCutcheon on first. Not only that, but we also have the tying run on base and the winning run up at the plate. Ooh, easy out right there. All right, so we can do this. I totally think that we can do this as Neil Walker comes up to bat. The 78 contact, 62 power is not something that I should underestimate, but McCutcheon's going, and we got him. Look at that. Plenty of time. That's going to end the game. So I guess I was not too happy about me running here with two outs. Pirates fans shouldn't be happy that McCutcheon decided to steal with the game on the line like that. But you got to take risks, of course. I completely understand that. It just didn't work well for the Pirates right there. But anyway, a 1-0 win here for the Phillies. More, of course, to come with your request with every live stream that I have. Um... And I've got actually a couple more, so I'll be posting those here as well. But I just wanted to say, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I definitely do appreciate this. Uh, more videos, of course, to come just with everything. And subscribe, you guys, if you haven't already. You know you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, all that great stuff. But again, you guys, thank you so much. And as always, I hope you guys have a good one.